What's, What's up, C-Squad? It's Taco C. And Daddy C. And Daddy Son. Kick Talk. Today, we are kick talking about the Air Jordan 4, Amethyst Wave, Zen Master, a couple of names. But on the box, it says Amethyst Wave. Everything we saw leading up to it was supposed to be called the Zen Master. I remember that. We're going to get into the shoe now, but what should they do before we do? Y'all need to ring that notification bell. We ready to open up this box, and you should do it because of how does correlated. Just do that first, we're gonna get into the review now. All right? The Air Jordan 4 Zen Master. I'm gonna just go with Zen Master. Obviously, you know, Amethyst Wave is sick, though. Amethyst Wave. Amethyst Wave is tough. What does it mean? It's like. Amethyst is a jewel, like a right. gem, right? It's like an amethyst colored. What color is amethyst? I guess it's bluish, purpley. Right, amethyst wave. That's like a really like vibrant wave, you know? All right. Oh. Well, I, guess, I guess we call it the amethyst wave, like it's supposed to be. Yeah. The amethyst wave, guys. Let's so go. it comes in the plain black Jordan flight box. The great thing about this shoe, we've been able to secure a pair thanks to the people at Slam Jam over in the EU because this was a shoe that only released in Europe. You know, and I really, really wanted it. And then when I heard they weren't releasing domestically, I was like, what? How are you gonna not give us the shoe? And we knew the shoe was coming. So as of right now, I'm starting to see raffles popping up domestically for the shoe. So maybe some new things are gonna happen. They're gonna drop some pairs here in the United States. But where's the EU? EU, Europe. Oh. Well, the EU, I mean, all right, Europe, England, yeah. all of that. So overseas. And we're here, we're in the DMV. So I don't want you to confuse the EU with EU from DC area, also known as Experience Unlimited. And they had the hit song, Doing the Butt, back in the day. It's an 80s song for people out there. Definitely not Nigel. We'll throw something in the video, a little clip for you, man. It's a classic. Do the right, no, School Days. Go watch School Days, Spike Lee. What's that got to do with Go-Go? Go-Go Music. EU was a big go-go band from DC and they had a popular song in the 80s called Doing the Butt and it was just a dance doing the butt I'll give you a little clip for that later man anyway the EU we got the shoe here in the United States yeah. from a raffle but the box you're getting this amethyst wave tie-dye kind of that's nice ethereal look on the inside the classic Jordan 4 cement type paper and then the shoe we got this beauty mm. here, which I really dig, man. I mm -hmm. really dig. It's very different mm -hmm. from anything we've gotten as of late. Mm -hmm. But let's see here. We take a look at the Amethyst Wave, and you see the shoe it's has this. beautiful. I, yeah, I love it, man. It is, uh, has this coloring around the shoe that's like, you know, I've heard people call it tie-dye, but I don't think it's tie-dye. Nah, it looks like clouds. Exactly. This looks like the heavens, right? Mm -hmm. And again, the Amethyst Wave is what it's called, but the shoe was really kind of inspired, supposedly by Phil Jackson, who was the, you know, winning his Hall of Fame coach in NBA, coached Michael Jordan to, what, six championships, then coached Kobe Bryant to five championships. The dude's got more rings than he's got fingers. Got his far. <laughs> so Phil Jackson, all those championships, also, he was called the Zen Master ah. because his style of coaching was like he incorporated meditation and Buddhism and all of that to his teams, right? He would let the teams play. They get behind, they get down. He just like, you know, tell them to calm and Zen, yeah. play through it, you know, find your flow, like all of that. And you got living race like that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So definitely it worked. Yeah. So, and, and also when he did coach, when he was coaching the Bulls, he wore Jordan 4s. So there was a mm. point he wore like the black, you know, black cement, red Jordan 4s and, um, you know, it was dope. I I mean, it's kind of wild you wearing shoes of a player on your team. That's a flex. You know what I'm saying? That's Yeah, that's just crazy. <laughs> this um, is like just the Phil Jackson shoe right here. Right, the tribute to Phil yeah. Jackson. And they're giving you the zen on the, the colorway of the shoe. Mm -hmm. Different though, because there's no leather at all on this shoe. Yeah, I was going to say, like the quality, it's like the pic, it looks like a, they put a picture on here that they took and like edited a little bit and then they like just pasted it onto here, <laughs> like a graphic t-shirt. Just graphic, yeah. This is like some textile and it's, I mean, it's canvasy, but it's not regular plain canvas. It's got some kind of piping texture to it. You can see the shoe itself, but I dig it, man. I do dig it. Oh, for sure. It's definitely giving you, you know, Zen vibes, ethereal vibes. Mm -hmm. You got the wings and the, the lacelets and eyelets in here or whatever uh -huh. that is translucent. Right, that, that is awesome. Yeah. And then this, the translucent on the actual jump man on the back, the heel tab, you know, with the black jump man. Mm -hmm. And you got some black, some gray here. 
Yeah. Oh, and the bottom, you got your regular Jordan 4 bottom here. Yeah. With black, white, and gray. Now, this colors, these colors are actually uh -oh. related to yeah. the infrared 4s because they have the same bottom. Mm. Black, white, gray. Okay, sure. <laughs> this is the Jordan 4. Mm -hmm. And then the Jumpman on the tongue, I do like this. They went with the classic flight. You know, you got the, yeah. that infrared color Jumpman, and then the flight is in like a purple colorway to kind of match that. Purple just right issue. out of nowhere, though. That's the hit, man. That's that's the that's the jump man. The jump man pretty much stays red. They could have made it. It would have been tough if it was white. Most most of the time, if it was white, it stays. It's usually red. Yeah, this, this is the black and red. It's just that classic that logo color. It's Except still tough, I though. think on your like on the lightning fours, I think it's gray and yellow. Mm -hmm. They change it because you can't you know throw red on there would just not match at all. Yeah, like this, it works. Yeah. Exactly. Back of the tongue, you got your Air Jordan, of course. Mm -hmm. Now that one should be different, or is it not? Different? Nope. Nope, you got the same thing. Okay. So you gotta see it. All right. <laughs> but I do like the black laces, the black cage, and the mesh yeah. around the shoe to kind of hit with that midsole black. Mm -hmm. And they tie it in with the black inner collar as well. But also, they give us an extra pair of laces, though. They give you this purple. And these are nice. The purple lace color. Mm -hmm. You like that? I do. I Honestly, I don't think I'll switch it out, though. You know? Nah, because I like how the black. Like, look at this angle. I like how the yeah. black laces mm -hmm. kind of match with the black missile right here. It's mm -hmm. kind of nice. Like the purple, I feel like we're interrupting. But mm -hmm. it'll be cool, though. It would match this a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I may change it up just to see what they look like. Just give it a, give it a taste. So what do you it's think of the shoe overall? I mean, we've said we like it. Mm -hmm. What would you rate it? All right, good. It's a nine. Ooh. This, this is he. I can't lie. You like this? This is tough. Yeah. All right. He likes it, guys. He likes it. Hey, now, what about you? Yeah. One through ten. I wanted this shoe very badly when I, as soon as I saw it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, how can I get my hands on it? Before you rate I do got to say, like, when I saw this shoe at first, before, like, having it in hand. Yeah. I was like, yo, this is so tough. It was because of the way that the colors were around it. But, like, having it in real life. Yeah. Like I was saying, it's like, it's like the quality got reduced from like 4k to like 240p or something so you don't like it as much nah because it's just like i feel like this is literally like a picture that they put on you oh so this, is the, like, this is literally a picture you're not feeling necessarily the the, the cloud ethereal color vibe on the on i the love canvas. the vibe but it's just like if you're gonna put something on here yeah that looks like a legit picture mm -hmm. i just feel like it should be like clear hmm. I got you. I mean, to me, it just looks like looking at the sky, like at sunset. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I might be looking way too close at it. Like, from a distance, yeah. it's tough. It is tough. <laughs> so, you know. He just, likes it, then he doesn't like it as much, then he likes it a little more. Yeah, I like it now. So, I you got you. All right. <laughs> you know, I, I will say, I mean, I would probably give it a 9.5. Mm. Now point five. I would give it a ten, but I, I love this shoe, man. I think it's, again, I always like to see Jordan Brand giving us something different. Yeah, you know, and not just the same thing over and over and over. I say it all the time. Mm -hmm. Not the same thing over and over again. Do something different. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how this is going to wear and protect. You know, this again. This is a shoe. You know, definitely got to think about which I do anyway. If it's going to, you know, how the weather's going to be. Mm -hmm. Where am I going to be? Yeah. I don't want to wear this in grass. I don't really want to wear it in rain. And then also all of these translucent rubber pieces. Mm -hmm. What are they going to do in the next year or two? Because a lot of times this stuff ages and starts yellowing, you mm -hmm. know? Um, if you look at old Jordans, just in general, you know, five, ten years old, mm -hmm. it starts to yellow, man, the more yeah. you wear them. And I see, like, the parts where, like, this part will turn into, like, a cake, and you could just, like, oh, dig through it. Or yeah, something. that's the people not wearing their shoes. Oh. We don't do that. <laughs> I, yeah, I want to wear my shoes. You got to wear them to keep those so those soles intact. You'd be, like, right on the edge, though, because, like, that might happen in five years. You might just, like, not wear them for, like, four, four years and nine months. <laughs> I do space it out, but I still try to give them a wear periodically just to keep everything intact. I get you. But anyway, this is the Jordan 4 Amethyst Wave. I'm going to just go with the Zen Master. Do you guys like this? Were you able to cop a pair? Mm -hmm. Are you entering raffles for it currently? And if we do get some updates on a domestic release here in the States, I'll drop that. Make sure you hit me on Instagram too, at Real Daddy C, because that is where I talk to the squad. You know, we have a lot of conversations out there mm -hmm. and that's the easiest place to get at me with questions and information. And we do a lot of fun things. Yeah, that's it. Well, I don't got nothing to say. Thanks for being here. Peace. Iggy, out. out.